Hello. Welcome to another installment of Cigars 101 with yours truly, Silver Eagle 2061, aka Bob. So, last time we were talking about how to cut a cigar. Now, one thing I didn't have with me then was the cutter, because I did bring a punch, but I didn't bring the cutter. Here is such a cutter. Okay, this is used to cut uh, the tipped end of a tapered, long tapered cigar. So put it in and chop chop. And it should be about the same uh, as the opening here of this cigar, of a, of a good um, uh, premier good cigar. Now, um, now I'm going to get to lighting a cigar. Now there are a lot of ways to light a cigar. Um, when you take an expensive cigar, um, there is the um, a way of lighting that um, you don't need a Bic lighter. Uh, wouldn't use a Bic lighter because the fluid in a Bic lighter um, it could change the taste of the tobacco. The fluid that's in a Bic lighter is not filtered. Um, neither is one in a Zippo lighter. Okay, no lighter fluid is very filtered. So what you want to do is if you are going to use a lighter use a lighter such as my lighter here. And this is a uh, windproof lighter. Okay and the fluid, the fuel that I use in here is uh, called Vector. Okay, now this fluid is an air gas fluid which is injected into the back of the lighter. The special thing about Vector fuel is that it is five times uh, filtered and it is as clean as any gas as you can count on. This leaves, the, uh, this leaves that the only taste you're going to get out of a cigar using this kind of fuel is the tobacco and the leaf. You're going to get the raw cigar taste. Okay, that's, um, that's the only way I would recommend you using any kind of butane fuel to light a cigar. Okay, now, normal way of lighting a cigar is to use cedar matches, cedar stick matches, such as these, like so. Now these are matches that are cedar wood, okay, and uh, not paper. Cedar retains the natural taste of the tobacco and the leaf wrap as much as possible. Paper does not paper would also change the, the, uh, the taste of the wrap. So you want to use cedar matches at all cost. If you're going to use matches, uh, you use that. Now how to uh, light the cigar is you don't light it and puff in at the same time. Never, ever, never. And I will show you. I'm going to use the um, well, let's use the lighter because it's a lot faster. What you want to do when you use a, when you have a premium cigar and you want to light it is first you want to burn the tip of the cigar. You want to burn this in first and just heat it up. So you're going to burn it, torch it, just like that. Okay, and then you go ahead in your mouth and then without inhaling light it like that you get the best aroma you don't get any fluid because of the fluid I've been using you don't get any of that now here's something really important that you need to know is that if you don't if you don't keep your cigars properly humidified, 
then they're going to get dry and brittle. If that happens, they can break very easily. The reason why I'm telling you this is because some cigars do not draw very well. They draw because they're wrapped and they're very tightly wrapped. So they do not have a very free draw. When you want to get a good draw out of a cigar that's not drawing well, you will use a draw poker, such as this. This is not an ice pick. Um, it's not used to kill people. This is a draw poker for cigars. Okay, Sharon Stone. But what you want to do is, after you've lit it, this is how I do it, is after you've lit it, and it's a real brittle cigar, and you're having a really bad draw, you you take the draw poker and insert it right inside, make sure you are completely level with that cigar. You want to be completely level, you don't want it to go sway right or sway left, because you'll puncture the, the inside of the cigar, and you just ruin your cigar. The reason why you don't want to puncture a real brittle cigar is because if you do, this entire end right here is going to crack and you've ruined a perfectly good cigar. A good humidified cigar kept in a humidifier in a humidor will be a nice soft cigar and if it does draw poorly you should be able to take a draw poker and draw through it not all the way just draw about halfway through the cigar and then draw back out and that should give you a good clear draw and you should be able to enjoy a nice cigar that way. If, um, if your cigar is thinner, there are thinner pokers. Usually in, in good cigar stores, and I've had trouble finding these, you can find them online where you actually insert the cigar in a tube and then one end of the tube has the draw poker. Now those tubes are not meant for cigars already lit. They are meant for cigars prior to lighting because they're plastic tubes and they're going to destroy the cigar tube. They're going to destroy the, the draw tube. This kind of a, a, a poker is is used for good cigars whether they're lit or not but I highly recommend if you're gonna draw through a cigar because of a poor draw that you at least and if it's brittle that you at least light it and get it soft before you do it or you're gonna ruin the cigar by drawing through it and it's gonna crack right through that brittle uh, leaf okay you don't want that to happen so and you can get this at uh, some cigar shops. They come with this and they come with a smaller uh, poker for the thinner cigars. Okay, so that's if you have draw problems. I, I, if you get a really good cigar you should be able to enjoy, enjoy your cigar without having to use a draw poker. I'm not thinking that you have to draw every, poke every cigar that you buy. Okay, so um, Lighting with cedar, matches, that's a must. Always light it first before you start drawing on it. Then light it again to get a good draw and you begin smoking your cigar. And this is a very good cigar. This Romeo and Juliet, you can't beat this. Except Garcia Vega is my favorite, number one cigar, Garcia Vega's. Presidents, Garcia Vega's, uh, English Coronas, they're all good. So that's it. Cedar, when using matches, and when, if you need to use a lighter, I recommend Vector. Now, this is a big can, filtered five times. The best lighter fluid for the jet lighters you can get, and only five bucks, okay? You can't beat that. And um, I would think if you want to, and trying to look for Vector 
www.vectorkgm.com www.vectorkgm.com and then you can if you can't find it in the stores you can order it online so anyway that's that how to light a cigar how to draw a cigar and um, next time I think I'll bring my humidor in so I can kind of show you the right uh, humid levels to keep a good cigar and keep them uh, soft yet firm and you can smoke them and enjoy them and that'll so be something I'll bring up to you next time okay for Cigars 101 this is Silver Eagle thanks a lot take care and uh, may your uh, ash be long your cutter extra extra sharp and your humidor always be full good night